cause and to be dead and to self completely. To be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. For one thing he asked for is for a broken spirit and a contrite heart. For one thing that I pray for is to stay in thy courts. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. And to walk in the ancient and to walk in thy ways and to trace the ancient paths and walk in them. That is what he asks for submission, complete submission, death to self completely, that the life of Christ be revealed through you. It's not by might, by works, or signs and wonders, but for how much the souls you're reaching out to are conforming to the image of the living God, the groanings will forever continue until that shepherd after the heart of the Father chooses to arise, but before that life must come, until the word, until the word becomes light. That is when his true worshippers who are going to worship him in truth and in spirit will arise. He says that it's not easy, but take my hope, for it is easier to carry. What happened to the lighters of this day? Where are they are that are after the heart of the Father? Where are them that will guard his oracles unto death? Where are them that seek not to be known, but Christ be revealed and glorified through them? Where are the astors of this day? That will stand at nothing, that the generation be preserved, that when they stand before him, they will cry and ask, Oh God, that I may be revealed, that you may be revealed, that you may be glorified. Where are the Joshua's of this day that will stand and stay? You can do as you want, yes, but for me, as for me and my house, we will serve the living God. We are them that will tarry in the secret place, O oh God, that Christ be revealed unto this generation. The groanings will forever cease until we lose ourselves completely, until we daily die. See, Christianity isn't just a thing of dying once, it's a daily I die. Daily I die. That Christ be formed in me, that he be revealed and he glorified.